So welcome everyone to this video tutorial on data mining. In today's class, we will see how can we implement k-means clustering in Weka. So whenever you are going to web, open Weka GUI, it will have a editor like this. So you have to click Explorer to go to the next editor. So whenever you will click, click Explorer, you will have it this particular editor. Okay. So to apply k-means clustering, you need to have an data set. So for data set, you have to click open file. In an open file, you have to select those particular location in which you have installed your Weka. So it is installed in here. Okay. So from here, go to the data. From Weka 3.8.5 users, go to the Weka. You can select any one of the data set. These are the inbuilt data set that are given by the Weka software. And it is in the dot .arff format so you can open it so whenever you will open it you will see that there there are three different things here you can visualize it here the attributes are given okay and here you can six number of some statistical values fine so i am going to click here edit so whenever you are going to click edit you can see you will give an, you they are giving you a editor so where there are total 14 number of rows and there are five so 14 rows and five attributes and the attributes are what outlook temperature then humidity and windy or play so these are the five attributes and weka also gives you the type of the attribute associated with the each of the attribute you can also change the value of the data if you want to or you can simply apply the clustering algorithm with the data given as to you so this is how you can say or you can simply add instances also okay so you can simply add more number of instances there are 14 so i can add number of instances this so simply i have create undo so these are the instances now you can see uh, the count it is given according to the level sunny wise there are five number of instances according to the level overcast wise there are four number of instances according to the rainy there are five number of instances so it is five plus four plus nine plus five it is 14 or here you can visualize the data set according to the attribute wise so this is with the all attribute wise it is visualizing the data set okay fine so after having this so here you can select the different attributes okay so if i say this so you can say in temperature, minimum value is 64, maximum is 85, mean value is given and standard deviation is also given, okay. So now you have to go to the cluster. So whenever you are clicking cluster, there are different clusters mode. For simplicity, you have to click on use training set and store cluster value for visualization. This is used for the visualization purpose. So since we are going to use k-means clustering, you have to choose the clustering algorithm for him here. So this is the simple k-means clustering. So whenever you will select a simple k-means clustering, you can select here and you can see that there are lots of things are there. So what are this? If you want to have a detailed discussion on this, you can click more and it is everything is given here. Okay. So you can click this editor if you want to have everything about the different modes given in the k-means clustering editor. So we will discuss some of the things. Now see this is the distance function. So you have to use the distance function to find out distance from the data points to the centroid. So you are, here it is default distance is the Euclidean distance. So whenever you will click it, so you can see you can also have this much of distance. But Euclid, uh, K-means clustering only support Euclidean and Manhattan distance. So either you can choose Manhattan or Euclidean. So I have choose here Euclidean distance. Next, is you can see this initialize method is random. So this is the random initialization of centroid. So you can have the other method also since, but since we are only acquainted with random initialization method, so we can give man, initialize method as random. So the maximum iteration value that is uh, permitted in case of Weka is 500. So you can change it to 400, but the maximum value that is permissible here is 400. The number of default number of clusters given in Weka is 2. You can set it to anything, suppose 3. Now, with this value, let's try to cluster the data set. Okay, so we'll click OK. Then we will click start here. <clears throat> so, whenever you click start, you can see that there are lots of information are there. Okay. 
Now see number of iterations that means number of loops that particular algorithm was run it's 3. So what is the sum of squared error value here is 10.3.6.5. It is the sum of the squared error value which is the objective function used by the k-means clustering algorithm to evaluate the quality of a cluster. Okay, if you see the data file, okay, so these are your data file, okay, and this is your cluster window. Now you can see since we have given the value of the cluster k equal to 3, there will be 3 clusters. So 3 centroid will be chosen randomly, okay. So it is randomly chosen as the first centroid is rainy 75, 80 false yes. So what are the value? This is, this is the first centroid value. Record number 10, the second centroid value is over cost 64. So this is the second centroid value is over this row number 7 and the third centroid value is this. So row number 14 is the third centroid value. So these are the initial centroid. So after the algorithm runs and after the three iteration, what is the final value of the cluster centroid? Since there are three centroids, so this will be the three centroid value. So the first the final value of the first centroid will be this and this is the initial centroid value. This is the initial centroid value for cluster 2 or 1 and this is the final centroid value for the same cluster. This is the third cluster and this is the initial centroid value and this is the final centroid value. So we can from this particular cluster centroid value we can get the final centroid value. Then we can see out of the 14 instances, 6 belongs to cluster, first cluster, 3 belongs to the second cluster, 5, five records belong to the third cluster. So 43 persons becoming have going to the first cluster, 21 person have going to the second cluster, 36 person going to the third cluster. So you can visualize it using the different visualizing clustering algorithm here. So you can visualize here, okay. And you can select different attribute value from this menu. So now see, since we have given the value of the cluster as 3, now we can change the value. So the change value is, suppose we have given here 4. Now see what it will give you the result. So if you start, so this is the thing. So you can see that the max iteration is still 3, but the sum of the squared error value is reduced here. In the first case, we get it is to be 10.365 and in the second case, Whenever we have given the value of k equal to 4, it is reduced to 7.96. So what we understand from this is that if you give the value of k equal to 4, SSC will reduce. Okay. So k value 4 will give you a better result than the k value 3. So this is an objective function which is used to evaluate the quality of a cluster. So quality of the cluster is evaluated on the basis of SSC. Let the lesser the SSC, the more the clustering algorithm will be better. So here it is shown that or we have seen that. So k value 5 will give you a better clustering result. So suppose we will change the again to some other value. So if you give it to the 5, let's see what happened. So you can see start. Then if you see this, it is still much more better than the previous one. So it, like this, you can see the different k values with how your SSC will count. So I have given the, it is 7. So let's see. So if I give 7, so it is still less. So out of this 3, 4, 5 and 7, 7 will give you the better result because the sum of the squared error is minimum and this is the, we can say that this will be better clustering in terms of the minimum sum of squared error. So like this you can visualize and see. So these are the different things given. Since we have selected here 7 centroid, so this is the 7 initial centroid value and this is the final centroid value, okay. So like this you can apply k-means clustering algorithm in Weka. So hope you like this video. Thank you very much.